When you hear stock trading, I bet the bustling image of the New York Stock Exchange's trading floor pops up into your head. With traders shouting the tickets and prices, pretty iconic, right? But what if I tell you that trading and investment, even though they may seem similar, are actually different? Why do some folks stick to long-term investments while others chase the thrill of day trading? And most importantly, which approach should be ideal for you? Stick around as we find out. Let's kick things off by first defining our terms. So what exactly is the investment? Investing is all about spending money with the hope of generating a larger return in the future. You can think of it like planting a tree. You don't expect it to grow overnight, but you keep watering it, caring for it, and over the years it grows and finally bears fruit. This fruit is a much more valuable return as compared to the initial seed used to plant the tree. That's it. That is the general idea of investment. Investment is an umbrella term that includes trading underneath itself. Trading, on the other hand, is the act of selling or buying the same investments within a very short time frame. You can think of it like a high-speed race, with quick decisions and fast outcomes. You'd be surprised to know that the majority of people often get confused between trading and investment, as both of these include stocks, bonds, and similar financial instruments. At the end of the day, both of them help us generate profits, but here's where the paths diverge. Let's start with understanding investment in depth. I remember when I first dipped my toes into the world of investment. I simply bought shares of a well-known tech company thinking about how this company was going places. Trust me, I wasn't looking to make quick bucks. I relied on the future potential of the company and took a long haul, expecting the company's value to grow over time. And that is, my friends, what investment is all about, a long-term strategy. For example, imagine you buy shares of a well-known company like Apple or Microsoft. As per expectation, you'll naturally expect it to grow in the next 5, 10, or even 30 years. It will be a matter of fact that the company will grow, and so will its profits. As a result, the stock price will rise. The long-term strategy that relies on the gradual appreciation of a stock value is what investment is. Imagine you had invested $1,000 in Apple stock back in 2000, then it would be over $50,000 today. That is the power of investment. Being an investor, you have to train your mind in a certain way. Investors usually have a long time horizon and hold on to their investment over the years and sometimes decades. Your stock may face depreciation at some point, but you'll still need to hold it in for several more upcoming years. Investors usually have a belief that sooner or later their investment will definitely grow, be it steadily. On the flip side, let's talk about trading now. As I said before, you can consider trading like a high-speed race. You need to catch the perfect moment with the help of a quick decision to take advantage of short-term price movements. Traders buy and sell stocks frequently. Sometimes they do it within the same day, which is known as day trading. You can also hold on to your stocks for a few more months or weeks, which is known as swing trading. For example, if you're a great day trader, then you may buy shares of Tesla in the morning and hope to sell all of them by afternoon for a quick profit based on the particular day's price fluctuation. Traders do not rely on the company's long-term growth, but bet on its short-term price volatility. So if a trader buys Tesla stocks at $700 per stock in the morning, he would like to sell it off at $750 in the afternoon. Isn't that a quick $50 profit per share? Now imagine if you bought 25 or 50 shares in total. All of this profit within a day. Impressive, right? People who trade have often labeled this experience as exhilarating to say the least. I somewhat agree with them, as just buying shares in the morning and selling them by afternoon just to make a small profit at the end of the day. All of this just sounds too stressful. Watching the stock price fluctuate, second after second, can also be nerve-wracking. Some do it for the dopamine to feed their thrill, and others call it the risk of trading. Till here, we've successfully distinguished what trading and investing individually mean. But what are the main differences between the two sides of the same coin? Everything boils down to two key aspects, analysis and timing. Timing, because investment is a long-term game. Investors often look at a horizon of years lasting up to decades. They often bet that the value of their investment will grow steadily over time. And by over time, we mean stretched out to several years. Traders, on the other hand, operate in much shorter time frames. They do not care about the long-term return the company has to offer. They do not care if 10 years later the company will still be relevant or not. All they care about is aiming to capitalize on short-term market movements. Let's come to the analytical differences. While the investors focus on a company's fundamentals, traders, on the other hand, focus on technical analysis. In brief, all investors care about is a company's business model, financial health, and growth potential. They understand the intrinsic value of a stock, and only when they're fully convinced that this stock price will reflect its true worth in the future, they consider it to be the one. 
Traders look at price charts, patterns, and most importantly, market trends to make quick decisions. Let's further illustrate what an intrinsic value means for a stock. You can consider the intrinsic value as a stock's true worth. It is usually based on all the information available about the company. Investors often buy stocks when their market price is below their intrinsic value. It is a clear indication that the stock prices will go up. Neither investment nor trading is completely risk-free. Both have their own set of risks as well as rewards. Comparatively, investment is marginally safer as your money is leveraged upon the overall growth and economy of the company and the market. But trading either can be highly rewarding or highly risky, all thanks to its short-term nature. You can either make a huge amount or lose your fortunes within seconds. So why do people trade if it's that risky? Well, patience, my friends. Investment requires a long-term perspective and patience to the teeth. A lot of people look for quick gains instead of steady growth over time. For example, a few years ago, I invested in a diversified portfolio of index funds. I did my research, chose funds that I tracked, studied overall market movement, and happily watched my investments returning profits surely but steadily. On the other hand, a friend of mine who's a day trader spends hours glued to his computer, analyzing charts and making rapid trades. Sometimes he makes more money than me, but other times he loses big time. It's a roller coaster ride, but he loves the thrill. Similarly, if you're ready to dedicate a lot of attention and time and have high risk tolerance, then trading could be the way out for you. So coming to the big question of which one should be ideal for you, it largely depends upon your nature as a human like fear, greed, or distraction. Both traders and investors depend upon the intrinsic value of a stock, be it for a long time or the short term. So investors are divided into two categories, passive and active. Passive investors ignore short-term fluctuations in stock prices and only care about long-term benefits. While active investors try to estimate the stock's intrinsic value and when its market price rises above its intrinsic value, they immediately withdraw. Active investment can be considered a safer version of trading. It is possible to incorporate qualitative information while trading too. But at one point, it just becomes a game of gambling. So if you know everything about the market's movement and behavior, focus on technical indicators and take measures and gauges to identify the market pattern, then you can make trading less risky. Do let us know in the comments down below which one you prefer, investment or trading. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon until we see you the next time.